Welcome to a journey through time to India's early years as an independent country where we will uncover the first major scandal to rock the country. The 1948 Jeep scandal. The story of rivalry for power and corruption didn't end then. It continued with cycle imports came in 1951. the BHU fund scam in 1956 the mundra scam in 1957 the teja loan scam in 1960 and the list goes on remember to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to see additional videos in this series before we get started on this fascinating tale from 1948 let's now investigate the facts behind the country's first major scam of the nehru era The scandal unfolded against the backdrop of the Indo-Pakistani War of 1947-1948, during which the Indian Army was in urgent need of jeeps. V. K. Krishnan, the Indian High Commissioner to Britain, placed an order for 2,000 refurbished jeeps for the same price of new jeeps. that could be purchased from the united states or canada he argued that the jeeps would be promptly delivered along with the spare parts however there was a concerning factor the company responsible for the delivery was relatively obscure it was called anti mistante which had a mere capital of 605 pounds Krishnan agreed to pay $172,000 with 65% of the total payment up front without any inspection certificate. He also agreed that only 10% of the jeeps would be inspected. The money for the payment came from British war debt to India dating back to the Second World War. Of the 155 jeeps that arrived, none could be placed into service. The defense ministry refused to accept them and in time istante suspended delivery of the jeeps without notice men unable to contact in time istante signed a new contract with sck agencies for 1007 jeeps with 68 being delivered monthly and the indian government to be compensated for its loss from the older contract Each G from SCK agencies cost 458 pounds, while Anti Mistante sold a G for 300 pounds. Krishnan agreed to change the contract and asked for 12 Gs to be delivered monthly for six months, and then 120 Gs shall be delivered monthly. The company, however, supplied only 49 Gs in two years and refused to compensate the government. When the information about the deal reached India there was a big uproar in the country including in parliament despite allegations against Menon Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru ignored the reports and made Menon his closest adviser Menon bypassed protocol to sign a deal worth 80 lakh rupees to the foreign firm for the purchase of the jeeps While most of the money was paid up front, only 155 jeeps were delivered. While the protocol should have been to ask Menon to resign and come back to India, Nehru forced the government to accept the jeeps. Following a significant outcry, the newly formed Anger Subcommittee undertook an investigation into the case, presenting their findings to Nehru on 9th April 1951. The Public Account Committee acknowledged these findings and recommended a formal investigation by two high court judges. However, on 18 December 1954, the government requested the committee to reassess its decision. When the Public Account Committee stood by its initial stance, 
the government declared the case officially closed on 30th September 1955, blatantly disregarding the Anger Committee's statistics. This premature termination of the committee's work has perpetually cast the shadow of doubt over Nehru, his ministers and B.K. Krishnamanan's governance. Govind Ballampad, the Home Minister and the Indian government announced on 30th September 1955 that the Jeep scandal case had been closed for judicial inquiry and ignored the suggestion by the inquiry committee led by Anant Sainam Ayangar. He declared that as far as the government was concerned, it has made up its mind to close the matter. If the opposition was not satisfied, they can make it an election issue. Later on February 3, 1956, Menon was introduced into Nehru cabinet as a minister without portfolio and rose to the defense minister in his cabinet in 1959. What damage Menon did to the country as a defense minister, we will show you in another video. The Jeep scandal case was closed ignoring anger inquiry report brimming with unanswered questions. Who instructed Menon to purchase the Jeeps when he wasn't authorized to make a defense deal? Why did he choose to refer his Jeeps at the price of new ones? What about the unchecked background of Entai Mestante, the agreement to pay 65% upfront and Menon's inability to contact them later? How did Menon end up working with rogue companies not once? but twice. And why was Nehru so keen on closing the case? These perplexing questions leave a tapestry of intrigue, leaving us to ponder the unsettling mysteries. Perhaps we will never uncover the hidden truths of this convoluted saga. And there we have it. The deep scandal of 1948, a tale of power and deceit that marked the onset of numerous controversies in India. As we learn from our past, let's strive for transparency and accountability. If you enjoyed this historical journey, hit like, share and subscribe for more intriguing stories. Until next time, stay curious and keep learning.